on the scene, on the story. This is News 9. A longtime fitness advocate is lauding Oklahoma City's growing number of fitness and bike trails. And Steve Shaw joins us from Southwest 5th in May, where the Will Rogers Trail opened less than two weeks ago. Steve. Kelly and Amanda, this eight mile long trail connects downtown to Lake Hefner. Hal McKnight says it's a game changer for an increasingly mobile city. Hal McKnight's been peddling one of these since? Oh, since I was eight years old. Love riding a bicycle. Hal's a longtime member of Oklahoma City's Trails and Sidewalks Committee. He was there March 2nd when Mayor Mick Cornett officially opened the Will Rogers Trail. It's the second of what will eventually be three MAPS 3 funded Oklahoma City trails. I think a lot of people will use this for transportation. You can work downtown, but if you live northwest, you now have an opportunity to safely ride a bike and progress all the way downtown to, to, to head to your office. To those who scoff at the idea, just know growing populations in other cities all over the country have been doing it for years. We need the connectivity. We're, we've come a long way, but we need the connectivity. McKnight says the Trail Advisory Committee would like to see the next step being installing signage along this maze of trails. The final trail to be done with MAPS 3 money is the Draper Trail. That's a 13-mile trail, which will give us a little over 100 miles of trails, which is just a wonderful statement for health, wellness, and quality of life right here in Oklahoma City. McKnight says paying for the signage could come from the extension of that one pent city sales tax that the city passed, city voters passed last September. Live on the scene on the story in Oklahoma City, Steve Shaw, News 9.